Hi guys, we're at this beautiful place owned by some beautiful people, uh, and they want to change this entry door, uh, and it has siding first, then they, somebody put shake, they, they bought it this way, and they don't want the shake, they want to put a siding like that with strips, uh, like board and batten, made by a company called uh, Diamond Coat, K-O-T. We'll probably show you how we do that because I'm still going to learn it. Anyway, we're changing this regular door to this one here. Um, and it's painted on the other side, I believe. This side is the face and the inside is not painted yet. It has cedar trim inside here. I tried to call them and I, they'll answer me back. And uh, the frame that they bought has more of this brick mold, which really doesn't fit with the rustic look, but it might be what they want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put the other door in. That's one of the things I have to figure out is what the customer wants as far as trim. So this already has siding on it, and we're leaving it to help us not have to worry about layout. Um, the window is going to be eliminated. Uh, we may move the outlet up here or somewhere else. We ch we added from this light fixture to that light fixture up there. Um, the one they found. The, the issues with the door is that this door jam on the interior is. 35 and 7 eighths and on the interior of this one is 35 and 7 eighths and uh, I was talking to them about whether or not 81 and 3 quarters is the did they want to leave it with the door toward the outside or toward the inside the reason is because this is a thick wall, this one is uh, six inches thick, an inch thicker, you end up with your hand kind of rubbing on the wall on one side or the other to uh, turn the knob. If I moved it inside, I'd have to cut the tile and they'd have to decide whether or not they want to keep the tile. Or if I moved it to the outs, like it, leave it like it is, then I leave pretty much everything the same. So I check first to see what the height of this would be. If it's the same, it doesn't matter. I'll fix it either way. And it's pretty close to the same. Sometimes you get one that's uh, different. Like uh, I bought a lot of new doors. And when you measure the top and the bottom, they're different. Like this one is on the bottom 36 and 1 8. And I can't really change that. This one on top is 30, 35 and 7 8. So it's a quarter inch difference. Now, where that'll show is on the out, on this line right here, on the, when you come inside and you see it, it'll show a different gap. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me take you to another door that they bought and we put in, and I'll show you that. Come on with me. So if you notice, the gap right here is almost a quarter of an inch. But the gap down there is let a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. So it kind of looks, I made it even so that doorknobs and everything would work properly, but look how, see how that difference starts showing up. So a lot of times, uh, if you want perfection, you're going to have to either cut down the jam or just shop until you get the right measurement because they're different at the factory. So again, this is what I, I, I give the offer to the customer to spend the extra money to me, take it apart or go get another one. But generally this is not that fussy a place out here. Um, 
these people. That being said, we're going to go ahead and take the shake off, take the door out. We'll have to unscrew this little coat rack uh, and start taking everything off the wall while we're here. And we'll show you what we go through. Why don't you use that pry bar onto your bottom right, the bigger one? I like that one. It's bent just the right way. They want more for that one than they do for this one. Really? A lot more. And that was like $14, and this one's like $8, 9 sometimes 10 But have, when you first start out, you end up with all kinds of different pry bars. So you can, now we've got all that shake taken off and those brad nails, finished nails are off. Uh, this has been put on mostly with nails. So what I could do to get to it is take the brick mold off, take the saws on and cut them. Uh, but this one of the things I like about this particular pry bar is I can see that has a ability to drive in there and pull that out. So I have one there, one there, three on each side, four on this one. And they didn't even put enough screws in here. That's what we'll do next. We'll pull all these nails. We'll pull these hinges out of the way because I can't drive the pin out. There's wood cut around it. And so that's what we'll be doing next. Just a tip. You might start when you're pulling the screws or the pins out of the door. You might start at the bottom, work your way up. And when you take when you, when you take it loose at the last one. The door doesn't fall over and you're on your knees or you're squatted down. It's right there where you're standing up and then you can grab it. Anyway, now we've got all the nails pulled loose. We're going to see about trying this out. If we're fortunate, it will come out fairly easy. Sometimes you're not able to do that. Take it loose all the way down. Looks like they got a nail or two. We'll see. Keep on going on this one. trim off no matter what I do. Get a piece of wood. So I don't bend up the front end in case somebody wants to use it. This piece with it. So maybe I'm holding with that filler that they put in. Uh -huh. 
probably end up using this. Yeah, it's got some nails. see somewhere. This maybe prod that wood. Right here. Hey. Screw. Is that a screw? That's screw. That'll be one. Why screws are better than nails. One screw holding <laughs> Yeah. Right. There that is. All right. Oh, the hinges aren't. They're not the same. In the middle, uh, we probably should just pull all that off then. Yeah, so I'll pull back out. Now, mind you guys, we've had to, let me pull this out in my show. Hammer this up and then cut all this off to get this in. Now we're finding out that we're gonna have to go ahead and pull this filler trim in, out. Uh, take all the out inside trim off. All right. What the journey. Without the door in it, it's pretty easy. Now that's where the other one was. I don't think I'm going to do it that way, though. So, because we got to put a siding on this. This trim is coming off. Can't see for the force of the tree. trim goes on uh, and then maybe we'll start on the electrical moving that outlet up here which we'll move to a double box maybe he's wanting to use a double box over there 
we're also going to take this, we'll show you what we do, we'll do a probably separate video. Taking that window out and filling it in. We'll link it up in the top right or something. Just click on it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, take you with us all the way through it. But our, now we can pull these little pieces here out. And, and our jam is all fastened the way it should be. And it's ready for the trim to go around. Uh, and the doorknobs. That's what I'll do next. And we'll take you with us.